Love, love, George, George. It's a clean holding facility. That thing clean and a lot of women running. So I was yeah. like, okay, well, all right. That's where I was at. I wasn't in urban. I was at Love, George, George. So that's where I was at. Yeah. Yeah, that thing, that thing clean. That thing clean. So I'm like, dang. I said, okay. I stayed at Love, George for like three and a half weeks. Mm -hmm. And then they finally bust me to Macquarie. So you, so you, they bust you all the way to Macquarie? Yeah. We bust from, from Atlanta, from Love, George, Georgia. All the way to Macquarie. It was about it was, it was a bus full. So all they do, a lot of do from Florida, from Miami, um, Bill Glaze, uh, Orlando, from all over. We busing. So we talking in the yard. So when we hit the yard, the dudes from Florida, they like, hey, y'all from Florida, man. Look, man, this is what we need. You know what I mean? Uh make sure you got your paperwork. You gonna need that in. You ain't got that. Um, you need to get sent in. Uh, we got a meeting today, so as soon as you go and put your stuff up, I need all y'all to come back out so we can give y'all the, the rules. I'm like the rules. This another. This another inmate. What the hell? He, this nigga talking about some rules. Right, right. So he like. So he pulled me to the side. Like, bro. Um, we are on red. Okay. We know what's going on. Um, what we gonna do is, it was like a. When you go to the store, they go a list. So I'm like, I'm looking at the list. Like $25, I'm like $25. I say, what the fuck is this supposed to be? He was like, nah, this for uh, for your protection. I said, I don't even know about to protect me, nigga. What you talking about, man? He like, no, nah, bro. The homie gonna bring you two knives. I'm like, two knives for what? He like, bro, we outnumbered here. He was like, um, this how I was rolling here, bro. Like they ain't doing no fighting. He said either lock or a knife. He said it's better that you're gonna get you two knives, one for the unit and a floater to walk around with. So all this new to you. This all new to me. So I'm like, man, what the fuck? So I go into the I go into the unit. I don't know nobody. Everybody in the unit looking at you. Now like, homie, where you from? I'm saying I'm in Florida. Oh yeah, you got some homies up there from Florida right there. A couple homies. And I'm listening to the accent. Like I ain't never heard that accent before. Uh -huh. So they're like, yeah, Slim, Slim, you um, your that's homie. That's that that DC. DC. That's like, that Yo, DC. Slim, Slim, you all your homies up there. Hey Mo! Hey Mo! <laughs> hey Florida! Yeah, you got you got some homies down here. So I'm like, what the fuck this nigga talking about? Mo and Slim and all this shit, man. So I'm like, man, who the fuck are you talking about, Slim? He like, um, no, that's just how, that's some DC niggas, that's how they talk. So I'm like, DC? He like, yeah, bro, he's like, everybody here. He's a like, DC, um. The DMV. The whole DMV, you got the New York, you got, he like, bro, Boston, you got, oh, I'm like, he like, yeah, man, and it's a lot of games. So I'm like, a lot of games? He like, yeah. He said, did the homie um, set you up? He supposed to come by and bring you the knives, right? I'm like, I said, what I need knives for, bro? He said, bro, it go down here. He was like, man, get your knife. And this one of the homies telling he be This one of the homies, yeah. This one of the homies, he from, he was from Pensacola. Mm -hmm. He hadn't been down in a while. He was like, yeah, man, it go down here, bro. He was like, you gotta have your knife. I'm like, man. He said, what are you gonna set you up with two? I was like, yeah, he said he said something about the unit and the float, a float. He like, yeah, you gotta have a floater. He said it's probably gonna be plexiglass where you can have it on you and keep it on you at all times. He said when the cracker pull uh, pull you open and pat you down, they ain't gonna feel it and it, it'll go through the metal detector. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I said, well what I supposed to have here? He was like, oh he probably gonna bring you a bone crusher. I said, a bone, what the fuck is a bone crusher, man? He said, nigga, that's that's gonna be that steel. So I'm like, man, then when a the nigga come and bring him, I'm looking at him, he got a, he, it's a screw this long, like it going like a duck vent. Mm -hmm. And he done sharpened it down to an ice pick. Right. And got the handles on it with the screen and all that. And then the plexiglass shaped like a knife. I'm like, this nigga done made a plexiglass. This nigga done made a knife out of plexiglass. So I'm touching it. He's like, yeah, that bitch sharpened. I say, man. I said, what what I supposed to do with this? 
He said, shit, that's your protection, nigga. He said, shit, yeah, you got a life sentence, but you gonna fight, right? I said, yeah, I'm gonna fight. He said, okay, then you wanna stay alive to, to get out then. He said, you better put that bitch to use. I'm saying, but I ain't gonna get in the night. He said, bro, it don't work like that here. He said, man, we go to, we roll together. They like Florida, we roll together. He said, we outnumbered, bro. He said, it's probably like 25 of us on the yard. Mm -hmm. He said, we got small numbers, so we got to go with the force. Y'all didn't click up with um the whole down south? No, see, when there, it wasn't like that. When I when I first got to McQuarrie, it wasn't no down south. They didn't want to do that. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to do none of that. So like Georgia had their little car, Alabama had their car, you know what I mean? So South Carolina had their car. They didn't want to, they didn't want to click up. So it was just 20, 25 of us on the yard, Florida. And every every unit y'all outnumber. Every unit we outnumber. Every unit. So we got to stick together. Yeah, man. I'm like, man, this is crazy. So now I'm there. I end up meeting my my neighbor was a guy from Carolina. He was the Iman for the Muslims. Mm -hmm. Real cool dude. So we started talking, and he had like three life sentences. So he started like giving me the gain about the whole situation. So I sit there and talk to him all day. When I come in from like, from the law library and all that, he'll give me the game. Like, look, man, this is what you need to do. This how it's running like this here. You know, you got a lot of crash dummies. You know what I mean? You gotta make sure you check your homies. You know what I mean? He like, this how, this is how it run, roll, bro. So I'm like, man. And he was like, listen, if you married, you got a life sentence. He said, I'm just giving you, I'm just telling you from my experience. He was like, man, detach yourself as much as possible from the streets. So I'm like, for what? He said, cause this is a whole nother, he was like, bro, this is a whole nother world. Mm -hmm. This ain't, what what happens out there is gonna affect you in here. And, and, and this is how you need to be able to live to make it back out there. Right. He was like, as much as possible, detach yourself from that. If you married, and she good, she gonna ride with you. <clears throat> so I end up like two months later, I end up, I just filed for the divorce. I get the divorce and she was tripping like, why you wanna get a divorce? I'm like, man, I got to. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I don't wanna be worried about what you're doing out there or nothing like that, cause it's gonna affect me in here. And that, and that actually helped me a whole lot through my bid. Mm -hmm. Cause I was detached from the things that I had out here. You know?